Okay, before we get into this full unboxing, I feel it's important to say that the awesome dudes at Savard, Will, and Lucas sent these to me to check out. So I just wanted to let y'all know because y'all already know how much I love Savard anyways. It's your boy High Five Vega back again. And today we're here to take a first look at the Savard Wrap 6.5 component set. This is the version two. So these are the brand new ones. Let's just go ahead and unbox them and check these out. I like the new design of the package. I like the blue. I'm a sucker for blue on black. Very cool. I mean, at least Kenny Wayne Shepard would think it's pretty cool. All right, look at this. Old school mentality, new school technology. Got the all important sticker. This makes or breaks the component set. If you don't have a sticker, it's it's probably not that great of a component set. So before I get into the unboxing of the drivers themselves, this cost you about $109 ship. It's very competitively priced. Let's see what we got in here. Okay, let's just start with the speaker grills. Nice, the Savard logo, it's, it's just kind of, it's classic. You know, I really like the logo. It's a simple little grill. Most people won't use these, but it's nice to have them for when you do need to use them. Now here we have the driver. It is a rubber surround, a inverted dust cap, stamp steel basket. We have venting along the edges here. We have the, you know, just the old plain Jane positive and negative terminals. They come with most of these, a boot cover. And then you have the nice blue logo, really digging that. 120 watts max power. I believe these are rated for 60 watts RMS. Let's get into the uh, accessories in the box here. So here's the tweeter. It looks like a, oh, it's a silk dome, 25 millimeter. Looks pretty well built. It's, it's quite hefty actually. I bet that's a good sounding tweet. I have not heard the version two, but I have heard plenty of v1s and they sound great let's get into here and see what kind of mounting accessories we have with this we actually got quite a few mounts in here okay so we have a angled mount here that's nice to have these because whenever you want to uh have your tweeters up on the dash or on a pillar and you need to angle them a little bit. These are really, really helpful for that. Then we have just a regular style cup here. And that's the same. Then we have some kind of, I think this might be a flush mount of some sort. We got two rings in here. Pretty sweet. It's nice to have all these mounting options because, um, you know, there's no telling what situation you're going to be in when you want to mount these. And these have already a flange on the tweeter so that you can mount them flush just like this. And I'm sure that, oh, I almost bet you that this goes behind the tweeter and that's what keeps it in place when you're putting it inside of an A-pillar. Oh, pretty smart design. Now let's check out the cross over here. I've already had this out if you can't tell. But it's very simple. Woofer, tweeter, input. Simple as it gets. And then here we have the little, you can go plus three dB, zero dB, and minus 3B on the tweeter. I like that it goes both ways. Some component sets only go one way or the other. They might go negative 3DB, 6DB, or positive 3DB, positive 6DB. But I like the adjustment from minus 3DB to flat to plus 3DB, depending on how the tweeter goes in your system. This is a nice little slap on cover. Pretty standard fare. Now, let me look up what they say about these here. So the crossover itself, they do give you, so the crossover itself, 
they do give you the crossover points on it and the tweeter it says 4400 hertz at 12 db high pass and the wrap 6.5 it says 1300 hertz 6 db um, low pass and as far as the woofer is concerned it's a one inch copper voice coil high temp voice coil adhesive and if you've listened to the kicker live stream that that's what's important you know we talked about this with kip the voice coil will last usually longer than the glue so you need that high temp adhesive these are pretty solid speakers i know that they're going to sound good because the first generation sound good this is the first look i'm going to come back i'm going to install these in a vehicle i want you guys to hear them inside of a vehicle and uh, we'll see what they can do for a hundred and nine dollar set of 6.5 inch components i think you might be surprised if you're looking to buy these i will leave a link in the description below so you can check them out if you want to but i'm going to be installing these i'm going to give you guys a sound sample once i do that be on the lookout for that and until then make sure you like subscribe do all the youtube stuff i appreciate you watching let me know what you think about this component set in the comments do you like it do you hate it tell me all the things let's keep the conversation going and i will catch you guys on the next video. I appreciate all my Patreon supporters, but I want to give a special shout out to the six star or more members, 2001 Monolithic, The Third Era, G Nava, Joaquin Juarez, Paul Smith, Byron Shambliss, El Fuego, Travis McClendon, Brandon Hanna, William Berg, Boxboy Audio Sound Solutions, Jesus Tires, and Orion the Great. If you want to help your boy out and score a little bit of extra content, Patreon exclusive, you can check me out at patreon.com slash high five vega i truly appreciate y'all if you always watch to the end let me know by putting hashtag og high fi or hashtag high fi anything else you want i appreciate you guys the most you guys really are the true OGs.